This video is part two of our three-part series on how to clean a Scotsman Prodigy Plus Cuber. After completing the scale removal process in video one, there are several parts that should be removed for additional cleaning, starting with the air filter, which can be easily slid out from the louvered grill and set aside. Next, remove the water level sensor from the reservoir lid by pressing the tabs on both sides of the sensor head and removing the sensor from its wiring harness. Check the harness for corrosion and replace if needed. Press outwards on the tabs on the reservoir lid to release the water level sensor guard. To remove the water distributor, loosen the hose clamp, remove the hose, and press both tabs to remove the water distributor. To remove the curtain, press firmly next to the peg which will release the curtain for removal. The next part that needs to be removed for additional cleaning is the ice thickness sensor which can be removed by pressing inwards on both sides of the top to release the sensor. The splash panel can then be simply pulled out and set aside for cleaning. Lastly, after making sure the machine is unplugged or turned off at the breaker, remove the screw to open the controller and then unplug the ice thickness sensor harness from the control board which will be cleaned with the sensor itself. The parts that were removed from the machine, including the evaporator cover that was removed in part one, should now be soaked, scrubbed, and rinsed in a properly diluted solution of warm water and Scotsman Clear One scale remover, and then repeated in another properly diluted solution of ice machine sanitizer and warm water. Before cleaning, disassemble and remove the probes from the water level sensor by popping the tabs with the head of a screwdriver. Disassemble the ice thickness sensor by removing the two screws. And then separate the metal part from the plastic part and harness. Once all the parts have been disassembled and soaking in Scotsman Clear One, Scrub and rinse each part thoroughly with a nylon brush before transferring to the sanitizer. Having a variety of nylon brushes, including a bottle brush in this case, will come in handy when scrubbing the parts. After soaking in the sanitizer, repeat this process of scrubbing and rinsing each part thoroughly, paying special attention to both the ice thickness sensor and water level sensor, which need to be cleaned and dried completely to avoid ice and water sensing issues. Before reassembling the machine, clean and scrub the spillway using a scouring pad and leftover sanitizer to ensure the water cascades over the evaporator properly. Begin to reassemble the machine, starting with the ice thickness sensor. Then, reinstall a curtain. Followed by the splash panel. Next, slide the water distributor back into place and reconnect the hose, ensuring a tight fit with the hose clamp. Then, replace the water level sensor guard. Make sure the probes are secured and reconnect the harness. Finally, install the water level sensor back inside the guard. Lastly, after reconfirming the machine is unplugged or turned off at the breaker, plug the wiring harness for the ice thickness sensor back into the control board and secure the controller door with the screw. This concludes video two in our three-part series on how to clean a Scotsman Prodigy Plus Cuber. 